Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm not really sure what's going on with the grass, it's kind of bugging out, but uh, yeah, anyway, we got some highlights today from, actually some streams from about two weeks ago that I just never got to, around to uploading, so I decided we would do that today. Uh, various highlights from, I believe, three different streams, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, it does help me out an absolute ton. I post tons of the Hunter content along with other hunting games games every single day and I do five live streams a week so you guys won't want to miss that also consider liking the video because it does help the channel out an absolute ton helps push my video out into YouTube's recommended feed and that is the biggest help you guys could give me but with all that being said let's go ahead and get straight into the video don't see anything over there and we got a moose there oh 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 my gosh, hello, um, no, I can't, can't spot that one. We got a piebald. That's a piebald elk. Hold on. <laughs> no, I can't see it. All right, so where did we spot it? It was somewhere over here. But I think it was like further to the left. Oh my gosh, hello. That eagle was ridiculously close to my ear. Kind of hurt a little bit. This is our piebald. That's a decent looking three too. I'm glad it's not one of the terrible looking racks for threes. It's actually one of the decent looking ones. I got kind of excited for a second though. I thought there was an albino too, but it is, that is our piebald. Let's go ahead and take this guy out now that we can finally see it. But that's definitely a decent looking one. It's a decent looking three. All right, so we got two of them. Nice, that's awesome. But yeah, that's a really cool, really cool spot for this to land too. Definitely a good looking piebald. Definitely nice. So let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up. 177.30. Not too bad, and I think it actually has two different antlers. Yeah, it's slightly different on each side. It's not the best looking one, but it's definitely not the worst either. I'm okay with it. We will tax that and it'll go in our main room. Very good looking piebald for sure. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have anything to shoot that with. We gotta get it to stop. Actually, hold on. Actually, we need to get its attention. Fast travel and grab a gun that I can actually use on it. Oh gosh. This is what I get for shooting females though. If I'd stopped shooting them, I wouldn't have rares be females, but I just cannot resist getting extra cash, so I always end up shooting a few of them if there's no males or if there's limited males. So honestly, it's my own fault that I get females. Was that not 300? Wait a second. That is 300. That's 300. I zeroed for 300. <gasps> no, look at, oh no, look at my zeroing. No. I did zero, but I hit it too much. Ah, man. I had it on 300, or I thought I had it on 300, but I guess I hit it one time too many, and it went to 75. That is annoying. There it is. There it is. Finally. How far is that? 328. We can make this now that I actually know. All right, we're 0 to 300 this time. We're 0 perfectly. There we go. That was a much better shot. We actually got it down. And that's a big rabbit too. Or a decent rabbit at least. Here is our little piebald. Look at that beauty. Been a while since we've seen one. 
This will be our first rare roe deer in our lodge, so that's pretty cool. Even if it is just a female, but still cool. Go ahead and pick this up. And yep, got a perfect shot on it. Absolutely beautiful. Get that taxed. Right at his feet. <laughs> okay, we gotta wait for them to go back to being attentive. Gonna need to aim like that, probably? It's like 360 meters away, so this is not gonna be easy to guess, especially since it keeps moving closer. Oh, that's a three! Okay, kinda glad I didn't kill that one yet. <laughs> We have a level 3 turkey, finally something good. Oh, there we go. There we go guys, we got one. We got a diamond turkey. It's been a while since I've seen one actually, which is kind of rare, usually diamond turkeys are somewhat common, but it's been ages since I've seen one. So, there's one of our turkeys back here. Are there any more near it, I wonder? Because one of them flew over here. It's just a matter of which one is it. Hopefully this is our diamond. This is the level 2. Which one are you? That's the diamond. 4.6. So it's a small diamond, but still a diamond nonetheless. And our first diamond in a little while. This is actually the first diamond we've killed since I've got back from vacation, so that's cool. First diamond back is a turkey. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's go get some mule deer. Where are the white tail deer? There they are. There's some white tail. It's just does though. Oh wait, 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 was that? Oh my gosh! Look at that, guys. A level 3 whitetail. I have not seen one of these in so long. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we've got one. It's been so long since I've seen one. Oh, I'm not like- I am not liking that rack, though. I think it's a troll. I think this is a troll. Look at the estimate. Oh man, this is a troll. 227 to 274. Yeah, it's a guaranteed troll. The upper estimate is two below diamond. That's so sad. We finally get a level three whitetail. Honestly, the second I saw the rack, I knew it was a low scoring one. Um, let's put on the Argus so you guys can kind of see it up close. But if you look at, um, oh, let's get closer where we aren't in front of that. But if you look at the rack on this whitetail buck, Look at that right side antler over there. It's the rack of the big level twos. You can already see it's not as thick. It's a little bit shorter. That's what killed it. If you, if we had had even antlers, this would have been a small diamond, but sadly this is a guaranteed troll. That missed vitals somehow. That should have hit. That should have hit. Hold on. Yeah, we aimed slightly high and we were at 230. That should have been good. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It was a troll. Let's see where we hit this guy. It should be like over here. Yep. Right there. No organs hit. My guess is we aimed slightly too low. There it is. Wow, actually, I think this has the small rack on both sides. Wow, that's sad. No, he had the big rack on both sides. He just got... Oh, no, this one's a little smaller. And that tip to tip's not great. Yeah, it was guaranteed to be a troll. 272.80. That's so sad. I can't believe it. After all this time, we finally found a three. And we got this as our three. Yeah, I messed it up as well. What even happened? <laughs> what? Definitely an interesting one. That's for sure. Just really sad that he wasn't diamond. 
or that he had no chance of diamond. Honestly, if it was a diamond, I would not have taken that shot, just so you guys know. I would never have taken that shot if I knew it could be diamond. But because of the fact that that was a guaranteed troll, I kind of just took the shot wherever we were. Oh wait, did we switch to the Hyperion? I don't actually remember. We might have switched to it, actually. We took that shot. Now I don't remember, I'm second guessing. Ooh, that looked like a decent one. The only time I ever kick anybody in multiplayer is if they're trolling. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> That's a piebald! What? Whoa! We shot a piebald without knowing it. Oh my gosh, guys. What is happening today? What is actually happening? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. It's honestly way more exciting when you don't know it's a piebald. Because we shot this one in the shadows when it was running away through the trees. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Well, I guess the little whitetail hunting we've been doing has been paying off. That's so cool. It's got kind of a cool rack too. It's a little bit uneven. I like the thickness of this side. That's awesome. Well, this has actually been the most successful whitetail stream we've done in a long time. Uh, until today, we've had some pretty terrible luck with the whitetail deer. That's really cool. We got ourselves a level 3 and a piebald. That's a- that is so awesome. I don't know what to say. I'm so excited. That feels so good to finally get a good whitetail. Alright everybody, we are now in the trophy lodge and you're gonna notice there is a few trophies miss missing from the uh, lodge if you guys have been tuning into the live streams. I took them down because they haven't been put into a video yet, so uh, for now I've removed them until I finish recording this little outro here, but we will show off all the trophies that we got in this video and this elk right here is the first one we are showing off. What a beautiful piebald elk and as you guys probably know, I don't find too many of these, so this was really, really cool to come across and was definitely an absolutely awesome trophy. You don't really see too many rare elk, and for this one to have a decent rack made it even better. It's not the best rack for a level 3, but it is one of the better ones. At least it wasn't that strange looking, non-typical looking one that nobody likes, so I am thankful for that. Over here we have that piebald white-tailed deer, which is probably the coolest thing we got during this entire little highlight video here. Absolutely love the fact that we were able to get one of these, and it's actually not too bad of a rack either. I would have liked if it had been the thick side on both sides, but it is what it is. Either way, it's still a really, really cool trophy, and something that, once again, you don't come across too often, especially nowadays with whitetail being pretty hard to find, so... It was pretty cool. Definitely satisfied with that. All right, and now we enter our Leighton Lakes room with the whitetail right here. It's not a diamond, but considering how hard it is to find level 3 whitetail right now, I did decide to mount this guy anyway, as you guys saw, and we've got him on the wall right here. Hopefully, we can get a better one eventually, one that's an actual diamond or even maybe a giant rare, but for now, we do have this guy right here, and even though he's not a diamond, he does still look pretty good because these big whitetail... No matter whether they're a diamond or not, they still look really, really good. So, it's always nice to have one of those in here. So, I almost forgot to show the roe deer. So, here's the piebald roe deer. I just have it on one of these wall mounts because I don't really want to waste a body mount on a female roe deer. Especially when I've already had one in the past. So, not really too worried about that. But, still a pretty cool thing to come across even if we already had one. <laughs> And last but not least, we do have this little turkey right here, which is a pretty average turkey, 4.6. Honestly, most of the turkeys seem to score that, so not really too surprised that it was a low 4.6 scoring one. But I mean, either way, still a diamond, and this was actually the first time that I had got since returning from the vacation that I went on a couple weeks ago, so that was pretty cool to have it be our first diamond back, but yeah, not really too crazy it's just a turkey but still nice to get 
But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have been enjoying the content, consider hitting subscribe. It really does help the channel out an absolute ton, and it will make it so you will never miss a video. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week, and I try to get out extra streams as much as I can, just so you guys can have as much content as possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to like the video. It does help push my videos out into YouTube's recommended feed, which helps grow the channel even more and is very much appreciated. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!